everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I thought it would be fun to recreate some outfits that I have saved on my Pinterest with items that I already have in my closet. It's kind of like playing a game of dress up while also finding ways to restyle some pieces that I don't wear as often. When I save an outfit that I love on Pinterest, I often find myself looking for similar pieces while I'm out shopping to recreate the look. So today I'm challenging myself to do the opposite where instead of purchasing new items, I am finding ways to use what is already available to me. I hope that this inspires you to shop your own closets and if nothing else, it's just a fun video to watch. Let's get started. I have the images in front of me too and I am just going to talk you through my thought process while I look at this and then my initial reaction to the outfit and how I'm gonna relate it back to my own wardrobe. So starting with image number one here, we have a very, very kind of preppy, trendy look. I love the denim skirt and the button down combo, which is traditionally very, very preppy and classic, but this sweater, this chunkier knit thrown over her shoulders really takes the look from this super classic look to more of the, the trendy classic combo that we've been seeing in fashion lately. Obviously a sweater over the shoulders is traditionally pretty preppy, but the way that we're seeing it in fashion right now is definitely more of an ironic preppy look, and it leans more into cool girl than stuffy, I think. I think it's because we're seeing it in a more of a relaxed way, kind of like the way that we're seeing it in this photo. The knits are chunkier, it's often tied in a unique way. I've often seen it kind of tied cross body instead of where it's traditionally tied around the neck. So we're seeing it different than we have in the past, and I think that's what is making it look a little bit more relaxed and less stuffy. So I actually do not own my own blue button down like in this photo, so I have borrowed one from my boyfriend's side of the closet, and I'm gonna tuck it into this white denim skirt that I own. As a petite, I've had a lot of trouble finding a good denim skirt. They're often really boxy and big on me, and they don't really cinch in my waist at all. So I really like this one that I found that ties at the waist to give me more of a shape. So I'm gonna defer from the picture a little bit. She just has a classic denim skirt on, so I'm gonna wear this one with a tie. I think it still accomplishes the color combination I was going after. And then I'm gonna throw over this lighter weight knit that I have. It is not as chunky as hers, but I think the color works really well with this outfit and still accomplishes what I was looking for. Now, accessory-wise, it's definitely very trendy within her outfit, and I think that's what creates a really good balance of being really classic preppy and then looking more on the trendy side. So she has this really structured, easy crossbody and then also a pair of simple gold hoops. I don't own a crossbody bag in a lighter tone, but I do have this little top handle baguette bag, which I think still has the same structure that I'm looking for. So I'm gonna pair that with this outfit. And then I'm just gonna throw on a pair of gold chunky hoops that I have. Now we can't see her shoes, but I'm going to assume that they're probably more trendy than they are classic. And I really wanna match the style back to the accessories that I have on already. So I'm gonna go with this square toed sandal just to keep it modern and to create some balance between the classic and the trendy pieces in this outfit. So this is the finished look. I think this one turned out pretty close to the picture and I definitely like this one a lot. I've been seeing this sweater over the shoulders trend for a while now and I haven't tried it out myself so it was fun for me to structure an outfit around this trend. Okay, so moving on to outfit number two. I really love this photo. I think this outfit is so simple, but I love the combination of the chunky cardigan with the simple black dress and the big statement necklace. I have a similar sweater that matches to the color of this one in the photo. Mine isn't as chunky, but I think it's gonna work pretty well. Underneath, I'm gonna pair it with the only black dress that I own here, but it has a very similar neckline to this one, so I think it's gonna work really well. And it has the, you know, the spaghetti straps that we're seeing underneath her sweater, which in order to create some balance between the chunky knit and the dress, I think it's nice to have a, a slimmer strap dress. 
My dress is a mini dress and from what I can tell in this photo, I think this looks a bit more like a midi dress, which I really like, but I'm just going to work with what I have. I think it still works. The one thing that I'm really missing is the big chunky gold necklace, which is such a huge trend right now. I couldn't find anything that could even compare to this in my wardrobe. I, I couldn't even construct something. I originally thought maybe I could tie two necklaces together and try and braid them to create the chunky look, but it I really just couldn't. So I'm definitely going to admit a little defeat on this one and just wear this simple gold chain. I've got the right colors here and I'm glad that I found a pop of gold that's bright enough to lighten up the whole outfit, but I definitely wasn't fully able to accomplish the textures I was going after. So not the best, but I think the sweater and the dress at least look quite close. Okay, so outfit number three is one that I have had saved on my Pinterest board for so long. I really, really love the, this photo and I think this outfit is so simple and I love the combination of the bright white with the trench thrown over top. It really screams spring to me, but you definitely would not catch me wearing this on a rainy or a muddy spring day. This would definitely be more of an end of April, beginning of May outfit when things are really starting to dry up around here. The other reason this outfit caught my eye is obviously because of the trench coat. This wouldn't be one of my videos without my vintage trench making an appearance. So I've just had this outfit saved for so long because I personally knew that this is something that I could create before I even had thought of this video. <laughs> so I paired my favorite white tee with a pair of cotton pull-on pants. I don't own white jeans, which admittedly would probably look better with the sneakers, but these still accomplish the white on white look that I was after. I have the high top converse, so that part was very easy. And then I'm just throwing on my trench and wrapping a belt around my waist. My pants don't have belt loops, but I think it worked out okay with what I had. As far as accessories go, she has some bigger earrings on, and to me it looks like the classic Chanel studs. So I went with this pair of earrings that I actually made out of old Chanel buttons. They're my Chanel on a budget earrings and still accomplishes this statement look. I also like that these are white and matches back to the tee, the pants, and the shoes. She has a pair of simple tortoiseshell sunglasses on, and I have this pair that looks pretty similar. It, they're not as cat-eyed as hers, but they still work. I'm going to throw my hair up in a messy bun, and then as far as the bag goes, I'm going to use my woven top handle bag to add a similar texture to the outfit as hers does. I don't have a bag that is similar in color or shape to this one, but I think the one that I have still accomplishes the look that I was going after. Overall, I really like this look and I'm glad that I finally got around to styling it. Outfit number four here, I picked out an outfit that is a classic Canadian tuxedo, which is honestly harder to style than it looks. But I really liked how she put together this look here. I think it's really simple, but her accessories definitely make it a little cooler and a little bit more French girl chic in a way. So I based everything around my denim jacket. I picked out a pair of denim in my closet that has a similar tone to my jacket so that they're pretty close to matching. I also realized that I don't own a black tee, so I once again borrowed from my boyfriend's side of the closet. The elements of her outfit that make it look really chic are that her pants are more of an ankle style and also how she cuffed the sleeves of her denim jacket. So I'm going to do a similar thing to my outfit here. I finished off this outfit with my woven bag again and then added a pair of ballet flats. I think this accomplished a very similar look and I like how this turned out. I wouldn't have thought of pairing these items together and I'm glad that I challenged myself to try something a little new. The final outfit here really just screams summer to me. I am begging for summer. It looks so beautiful. Her top really reminds me of this Cezanne one that I have in my wardrobe. So I picked this outfit really based around that. I love the eyelet detailing. It just reminds me of sunshine and the nice summer breeze and flowers. And I love that she is out on a bike. It just looks amazing. So I picked this outfit centered around that. 
I paired it with a pair of light wash straight leg jeans and then of course my woven bag and my Converse. Once again, items that I already had, but I probably wouldn't have styled my Converse with this Cezanne blouse that I own. I think of the two as very different items. My blouse is very feminine and very polished and I would probably choose to wear a nice heel with it and I still will. But I really like that I found a new way to wear it with a more casual denim style and then casual sneakers. I think this is something that I wouldn't have thought to do. This outfit is just very effortless, but also looks super put together at the same time. I don't know if I'd wear it biking because I'd be too afraid to get bike grease on my pants, but for the photo, I think it looks great and just very picturesque. So those are my outfits that I have created using items in my closet to match back to some Pinterest styles that appealed to me. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.